Hey everyone, it's Alex here. Um, I am in the middle of doing my latest episode of Movie Questions Answered, but before I do that, there's something that's been on my mind for a while. Um, a while back, I did a series that I like to call t my 25 years of favorite movies, and basically what I did was, for every year I've been alive, I did my favorite movie from that year, and there were certain picks from some years that, um, I don't want to say I regret, because I like those movies enough that obviously I thought of them, but there were better choices I could have made. So what I'm going to do today is, um, I'm not redoing the entire list, because I stand by my choices, but I am going to redo the years that, um, I, I could have done better, or that there were better picks. Also, since there have been two years since I've done that, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo my favorite, I'm also gonna do my favorite movies from 2013 and 2014. So, um, I'm also gonna repost the links, and I'm not gonna, gonna take down the videos, cause, you know, when's the chance I'm gonna talk about those other movies. But, just to recap, for those of you who didn't see the, who didn't see the video the first time, or or just want to refresh my memory, uh, here are my here are my picks from the other years. Um, 1988 was a tie between Roger Rabbit and A Fish Called Wanda. 1989 was a tie between Batman and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. 1990 was Goodfellas. 1991 was Terminator 2. 1992 is one of the years I'm redoing, but I'll get to that. 1993 was Jurassic Park. 1994 was Forrest Gump. 1995 was 12 Monkeys. 1996 was Fargo. 1997 was Liar Liar. 1998 was The Big Lebowski. 1999 was Toy Story 2. 2000 was Oh Brother Where Art Thou. 2001 and 2002 are years I'm redoing. 2003 was Big Fish, though I'm pretty sure that poster gave that pick away. 2004 was Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. 2005 was Batman Begins. 2006 was a tie between The Departed and Pan's Labyrinth. 2007 was There Will Be Blood. 2008 was The Dark Knight. 2009 was Up. 2010 was Toy Story 3. 2011 was Super 8. 2012 was Django Unchained. So, we're going to start with 1992. And my favorite movie from 1992 was Aladdin. I'm not going to lie, this is one I particularly regret. Now, uh, when, I, when I did the video originally, I picked Wayne's World, and, you know, I love Wayne's World as much as the next guy, but for me, it's like picking Wayne's World over Aladdin. It's like picking a friend you've known for a while, and you know, they're a good friend and all, but it's like picking that over a lifelong friend. And Aladdin has always been one of my favorite Disney movies, so the fact that I didn't pick that for 1992, I gotta redeem that. Um, and I'm such a fan of Aladdin that, uh, you know, when this special edition box set came out, I actually bought it, um, and I, I was so excited. It comes with a, it comes with a, uh, picture case, it comes with a storybook, um, it also came with an, with an Abu doll that I've, that I've misplaced. I also have the, uh, the Super Nintendo game. And I've also played the Genesis game, which, um, the Genesis game's better. But, um, what do I love about Aladdin? Well, um, I, I love pretty much everything. I love the songs, I love the characters. Blue Genie is, um, one of my favorite characters. And, uh, you know, with the recent bad news about Robin Williams. You know, he was one of my favorite comedians. He did so many wonderful parts, but if I had to pick the one the one character that um 
that I most associate with Robin Williams, it would be the Blue Genie. And, you know, when when you consider that it was a voiceover job, that that really is saying something, because he just, he just owned that character, and he, he really made it his, um, his own personality, and brought so much of that trademark Robin Williams humor and energy to his performance. And, and in addition to Robin Williams, the other characters are so much fun. I love, uh, I love, um, I love Aladdin as the, ti as the title character, someone who, who's, um, who's kind of got the, who's kind of got this, um, got, who's got, you know, he's, he's kind of a thief and he has to survive, but, you know, he's, he's got, he's got this really likable personality and, and he and Jasmine really do have a lot of chemistry together. And the songs in this movie are just so good. I mean, I, I love Friend Like Me. I love, I love, um, I'm One Jump, if that's not what it's actually called. I apologize. Even the songs that were cut were really good. Um, I, re I really want to thank my friend MovieFan12, if he's watching this, for bringing for bringing Proud of Your Boy to, to my attention. It's a shame they had to cut that, because it is such a good song, and it would have been attached to such a good movie. My favorite movie from 2001 is Spirited Away. <sighs> Boy, do I regret not picking this one the first time. Um, where there was no excuse for forgetting about Aladdin. Um, the thing about Spirited Away is that... Um, I'm sorry to say it had been a while since I had watched the movie when I first did my list. And also, while we're on the subject, um, since she dedicated her Batman Begins review to me, I would like to return the favor, because I know she's a huge fan, I'd like to dedicate this part of the video to my friend Boobop1987. And, um, Spirited Away is one of those movies where you think the hype and the anticipation are going to be better than the actual movie, but Spirited Away lives up and maybe even exceeds all the hype. It is an absolutely wonderful and perfect movie. The animation is gorgeous. The characters are are just so memorable and so likable. And the mythos is just so interesting. It's one of those things where, where um, you know, Doug Walker was talking about this recently with when he did Disney Sember, how he wanted so much, he wanted to see so much more of this world, and I, I totally understand because, because everything about this movie is just, I, I don't use this word often, but it is just magical. And, you know, it's kind of funny, I was watching this movie and my mom asked me what it was about and it's kind of like, I, <laughs> I actually had a hard time explaining it in one sentence, but, uh, uh so what? So what if it's hard, to, uh, a difficult movie to explain? It's, uh, you know what, you know what, plot is secondary, who cares? Uh, when, when you have, when you have this wonderful world with, with these with these great characters and this wonderful mythos it's like that is the sort of thing i think a, a movie does better than telling a story taking us to this world taking us to the kind of worlds and you know it's a, i can't think of too many other movies that really did just create something truly original and unique and special like Spirited Away did. If you haven't if you haven't seen Spirited Away yet, see it. My favorite movie from 2002 is Gangs of New York. It's it's kind of funny. When I first did this list, my original pick was um Catch Me If You Can, which is a really good movie. I highly recommend it, but uh, it's kind of funny how I'm replacing one movie with Leonardo DiCaprio with another movie with him. And uh, while the other movies were 
Well, the other movies I'm redoing, I'm redoing because I think they were much better choices. Gangs of New York, it's like, eh, if you twist in my arm, I think it's the better movie. And, uh, there's, and there are a lot of reasons to like this movie. It is a very, it is a very sweeping and epic film. It's a, it's got great performances by, by the lead actors. And, uh, it, it's a movie with a lot of character. You know, you see all these gangs and, the, and these people have their own personalities and, um, and, um, uh, but if I, if I had one criticism with it, and, and I'm a pretty big Scorsese fan, but I think a lot of his movies could kind of benefit from being shorter, and uh, sorry to say this is no exception, but uh, it's, it's a movie that also has some really great battle scenes. Like, it, it starts out with this battle between um, Daniel Day-Lewis's gang and Liam Neeson's gang, which is one of the best fight scenes I have ever s seen in a movie. It is just, oh, such a good fight scene. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say I don't have a ton to say about this movie. Uh, really good movie. Highly recommended if you get the chance.